A candidate was recently asked about farms. Specifically, they were asked whether they had recently been on a farm and whether they would like to live and work on a farm. In response to the first question, the model today brings up the very specific example of an uncle's vineyard. The candidate expands the answer slightly by mentioning what they did while on the farm. When responding to the second question, the candidate references the same example again, which helps support the candidate's reasoning for not wanting to live on a farm. It also helps the candidate expand on an answer that would otherwise be a simple yes or no. Please remember that these responses are always scripted by an active IELTS examiner. If you find these exercises helpful, leave a thumbs up and consider joining www.ieltsspeakingblog.com for 14 US dollars per month to access the full lessons. Okay, here's this week's exercise. Enjoy. Let's talk about agriculture and farms. When was the last time you were on a farm? Well, my uncle has a vineyard, so if that counts, I was there two months ago. My uncle has a vineyard. 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 My uncle has a vineyard. So if that counts. So if that counts. I was there two months ago. I was there two months ago. Well, my uncle has a vineyard, so if that counts, I was there two months ago. Well, my uncle has a vineyard, so if that counts, I was there two months ago. I helped him pick grapes and we enjoyed a lovely family lunch together. I helped him pick grapes. I helped him pick grapes. And we enjoyed a lovely family lunch together. And we enjoyed a lovely family lunch together. I helped him pick grapes and we enjoyed a lovely family lunch together. I helped him pick grapes and we enjoyed a lovely family lunch together.
Would you like to live and work on a farm? When I am on my uncle's vineyard, I admit this lifestyle seems very romantic at first. But the truth is, you must dedicate your whole life to the land. When I am on my uncle's vineyard, when I am on my uncle's vineyard, I admit this lifestyle seems very romantic at first. Very romantic at first. Very romantic at first. I admit this lifestyle seems very romantic at first. But the truth is, you must dedicate your whole life to the land. But the truth is, but the truth is, Dedicate your whole life to the land. Dedicate your whole life to the land. But the truth is, you must dedicate your whole life to the land. When I am on my uncle's vineyard, I admit this lifestyle seems very romantic at first. But the truth is, you must dedicate your whole life to the land. When I am on my uncle's vineyard, I admit this lifestyle seems very romantic at first. But the truth is, you must dedicate your whole life to the land. So, I don't believe this type of life is for me. Is for me. Is for me. So, I don't believe this type of life is for me. So, I don't believe this type of life is for me. I think I would prefer an urban life. 
with a better work-life balance. An urban life. An urban life. I think I would prefer an urban life. With a better work life balance. Work life balance. Work life balance. With a better work life balance. I think I would prefer an urban life with a better work life balance. I think I would prefer an urban life with a better work-life balance. 